is a, is a life where race is, is very important yes. from your youngest years. Now, how has race consciousness affected you? What has it it's done to you? It's made me. I mean, the one thing that makes most black folk crazy is they try to, you know, I resent going to a conference and race and racism is not on the program. Mm -hmm. I went to a world conference with Dr. Carlton Goodley mm -hmm. uh, on the, uh, when he was live on the San Francisco Sun. My godfather. Is he? Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. what a. And uh, he was in the peace movement before anybody even knew what That's peace right. was. So I go to East Germany. Mm -hmm. And I'm with Lil, and we're looking at the program. That's where we met at his house in San Francisco. Oh my God. Yes, and you had on that suit. Yes. With the vest, with the That's sleeves, right. and yes. the jacket. Anyway, let's, I don't want to interrupt the so story. So I'm, I'm, and I'm looking, and, and I don't see race issue being discussed. So I walk up and get on the stage, and, and everybody was there, all the top peace people from around the world, and they had guards, man. Hmm. And so I walked the stage, they and talking and driving, I pushed them out of the way, walked to the mic, and said, I'm Dick Gregory, I'm with the American Peace Delegation, and I resent the fact that 99% of all the wars on this planet is over race, and there's not one topic. Hmm. And then I stepped back, and I really felt bad, because hmm. I had the first international conference I've been to where they have interpreters, so it's delayed. Yeah. And so I, and then everybody just broke into screaming and yelling and clapping and hollering. Mm -hmm. And then they, the guy walked up and said, well, we, we're glad that uh, Comrade Gregory saw this oversight. And we just want you to know that now race is on the conference and you're the chairman. Mm -hmm. uh, and so but I'm saying to your question, one of the problems that we as black folks have, and white too, but black, is we try to function in a system <laughs> that this is the most racist, sexist system on the planet. And it has an effect on you. And if you don't react to that, there's something wrong. In other words, if... ...hotel on campus, and I hear that three trucks of circus animals escaped last night and they're on campus, mm -hmm. when I walk out, I'm conscious that there's some gorillas and some tigers. Now, I'm not scared, no. but I'd be stupid not to be kind. To not, I'm disrespectful to her. I would be disrespectful if you was coming to meet me, not to tell you this. So when black folks wake up and don't have a discussion every day, not the negative, or vicious or mean about racism, where is it now? How will it affect me today? How will I be ready? And that's how you all made it, man. Y'all didn't wait till you got hit by a white chair. Y'all had classes, man. Mm -hmm. And one day the world will find out what went in to this movement where they put eggs in your head. Who would? Negroes, white folks that was part of the movement. They had a dummy lunch counter, and they went through all of that. Most folks don't know that. I didn't. Mm -hmm. But you was prepared. You was called, the Bible said, putting on the armor. Mm -hmm. Well, to live in America, black and white, and don't put on the armor, you're a fool. So every day, every day, a day don't pass that I don't fight you in racism and sexism. It makes me better around a woman. When I'm sitting at a bar, how can I say to a friend of a friend of yours that owned the bar, and she's waiting tables, and I say to her, hi, Tootsie. Mm -hmm. But if there's a gay that's waiting tables and say to me, hey, sweetie, huh? So it makes me conscious. Hmm? It makes me a better person, fraction in. It also lets me know that just because this person's white, it don't mean they are racist. But it means one thing to me, that if a woman, say, her purse was snatched when that cop walked in there, this beautiful white brother that's sitting there that would die for me, they're going to come to me first mm. before they come to me.